Hey guys, it's uh, John Cigar Surgeon here at IPCPR 2015 Cigar Federation in New Orleans. I'm talking to a good friend of mine, Hamlet. For those of you who have not been to Cuba and do not know Hamlet, Hamlet is from Cuba. Um, all the guys that go to Cuba on a regular basis know him. Uh, a lot of them are good friends with him. He's got a new line now with uh, Rocky Patel, Tabacero. Uh, Hamlet, we want to talk about a little bit about the line. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, uh, I, as soon as I came here and I realized that I, for the first time in my life, I wasn't able to get in touch with Cuban tobacco and smoke a Cuban cigar. I was like, okay, this is a new part of my life, so I gotta go for it. So what I began to do was training myself and smoking as many cigars as I could. And uh, I used uh, a lot of different combinations of tobaccos. I, I made more than 124 blends, uh, getting true to what I wanna end up with. And since God, I, I just kicked the, the right blend. So the blend is actually, uh, uh, a Nicaraguan fillers okay. with a touch of uh, half of the binder is from Matafina, Brazil, okay. uh, which is going to be in the little sweetness of the cigar. Yep. And then the other half is from uh, Mexico. So all this combination of sweetness and spice and with the Nicaraguan fillers, it will end up in a nice uh, medium to full body cigar. But it's a cigar that I, you know, all I was smoking before, there were like some cigars that were like flat some of them that were like going up and then going down and i want to create something that never gave up so something like more like what i was used to smoke and uh, and roll so i end up with this so in order for to do that i add at the end like uh, a mexican san andres wrapper which uh, is going to bring character to the cigar so uh, i just uh, you know guys go for it it's a very good cigar it's a as a non-Cuban, it's a very good cigar. I'm so happy I end up with this kind of, uh, I'm very critical with the, I'm very perfectionist. So I just, I didn't want to put something that it, I didn't like it myself first. So and I, I love it. I just love what I did. And uh, they are made in Nicaragua. So it's exactly the same uh, way that we Cubans roll cigars. So I'm just, and the guys are doing a very, very good job over there. So I just sent them and, uh, and Amica, which is the one that is managing that. And I just tell them that the cigar never gave up. That's something that I really want to be focused on it, and I, I got it. Now, I notice uh, the size, of course, there's a Salomon, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is one of your favorite sizes. That's one of your favorite cigars. What other, uh, what other uh, Vitolas? Well, we have is five different sizes. We have uh, Robusto, we have Corona, we do have uh, Corona uh, Robusto Grande, we have Toro, and then we have a Salomon. So Salomon have to be there because, uh, you know, uh, I, I, as I always say, joking, you know, I, I never had a tattoo, but if someday in my life I'm gonna get a tattoo, the Salomon gotta be on it. Because that, that'll be part of my life from the very beginning. So, and I'm so glad that, you know, when I discussed with Rocky, and uh, he was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's put a Salomon in it. And I was like, yeah, that's, that, you know, I'm so happy. At the same time, you know, I wanna sense uh, all my, brothers that I have around the world that somehow everybody just put a hand on it and make this happen. So, and especially uh, to Rob Ayala and Rob Fox, which weren't the ones that made this happen. So they, they're very humble. They said, don't talk about us, take just about yourself. It's your time. I, I know it's my time, but they are part of my life and they're part of my time anytime. So if they were not Getting me in touch with uh, Rocky Patel, this was uh, like impossible to be made. So, and that I really want to say all the time, in sense to all these boys that I met all over the world, which are the ones that actually made me to be better every day and made me feel like a better human being. Because all my for all my travelings and they always took took care, very good care of me, and uh, and we had a very good time all over the world and in Cuba too. So. And that, you know, for whoever still doesn't think that I think like that, they are making a mistake. And even though now I'm in a new journey, uh, which uh, is not involved with Cuban cigars, all of them they are included in my journey. So they're the ones that push me to be better and better every day and, and come out with a better cigars. Tell, uh, tell our audience when the Tabacero is available, when it should be available in the market for them. So we're planning that the cigar is too young now. It's like four and a half weeks. So we're gonna launch the cigar officially, middle of September, uh, maybe a, a little bit late, 
because we don't want to give the wrong impression. We, wanna, we are sampling the cigars ourselves, but we decide that uh, the cigar wasn't ready yet. So we wanna, it's better to hold and just give the right, perfect product than not to be you know, gambling and giving a wrong cigar. Because for me, the, this is my life. So this is my baby now. It's my new life. I just born in the U.S. and this is my my first son. So I got it. Got to be perfect. I got to be on time. Yep. So there's no rush. Perfect. Well, this is John from the Rocky Patel booth with Hamlet, the new Tabacero cigar. Look for that in September. IPCPR 2015 Cigar Federation out.